Hey guys, James here from Real Bias Gaming. So, I want to talk about a game I'm actually really, really excited about called Far Cry 3. It's coming out here pretty soon, about two, three weeks away on December 4th. Just wanted to talk about some things, kind of what I hope is going to happen and what I hope doesn't happen in the game, and really just why I'm looking forward to it. So, there's been a lot of, one of the main quotes at least, about Far Cry 3 is that it's the uh, Skyrim. It's Skyrim with guns. So you're going to have this huge open world. You're going to have all these quests you could do at almost any time. And kind of just this whole element of an RPG mixed with a real first person shooter instead of just a first person sword and board kind of setup like Skyrim was. So that sounds pretty exciting, right? And that is really something I have been looking for for quite some time. And so I'm really hoping they actually have a really solid RPG aspect to it. Now, we haven't seen too much about any kind of level up system really, but definitely there's a whole lot of crafting going on in the world. So you're going to be able to harvest things, look like, looks like, hunting wild animals for their pelts, uh, grabbing certain vegetation off the ground and actually using all that to create things. Mostly it seems so far it's just, you know, an extra holster to carry an extra gun, um, allow you to carry more ammo. So I'm hoping that is really, really fleshed out and really deep because that would be really exciting to have a first-person shooter where then you have all these other kind of secondary tasks that could be really fun to just kind of distract you from the main storyline and everything. Now, the real open world exploration. This is really, really exciting. Having the exploration kind of be a big part of the gameplay. I like the idea of having these radio towers where you get up to the top and you just kind of see out over a whole area and it unlocks all these different uh, waypoints and things that you can go to. And you can kind of see where the areas of interest would be. So that's that's really, really exciting. And then, of course, going beyond that, you actually have the pirate bases that you can find. You know, and this, it almost has a real-time strategy element to it. Not so much that you're commanding squads or units, but you're actually capturing territory, grabbing bases, and then these bases actually give you bonuses and other things that will help you out, like extra resources, new weapon unlocks, hopefully new skill unlocks, and then definitely more people to actually help you out in your cause. More of the islanders will actually flock to your cause and help you out. I think that could be really, really cool. The more base you get, the more influential you get, the more powerful you get, and that's reflected in the area and in the islanders that are there. Um, so that that is a really, really cool element, kind of strategizing which bases you're going to be attacking, how you're going to attack each one, uh, and then how you're going to kind of go through the out the entire island attacking each base. It's really, really cool. So now you're really part of this war, right? It's on war on a small scale. So the local islanders versus the pirates, and you're kind of help, well, you're looking for your friends mainly, but it looks like you end up getting swept up in, in this uh, kind of fight back against the pirates from the local islanders there. So, and the one other thing I'm really excited about is that, of course, this game is going to be really pretty. All the Far Cry games have been very, very pretty. I love the setting for this one. It's just back to that tropical, beautiful look. Tons of just the palm trees and the tall grass and the waterfalls. It's going to be really, really exciting to look at, if, if even nothing else. Now, there's a couple things that do really worry me. You know, could this game be some, a huge flop? One of the main things is that a lot of the commercials and the trailers, they seem to include a very heavy dose of bro. It's, it's hard to relate to Jason's friends, you know, and just really worry about their survival when they're really, really annoying. Just like, dude, you know, total... It seems like really stoner guys, just total college frat boys. You know, they're just out partying around, and you, you kind of have a don't have a whole lot of sympathy because there's not a lot of people who actually have the money to go floating around the world and find random islands. You know, with their friends, um, they have to be responsible, or they just they'd love to, you know, but they just don't have the funds for that. So that's kind of something I I don't especially. It, Except for the girl, you don't feel like a big connection to these other, these friends of Jason's who are captured by the pirates. You know, so I'm really hoping that they're able to flesh that out in the game, that you really do become attached to these characters and attached to trying to rescue them. Uh, now, it also seems like it could be almost too character focused, kind of lose the plot or just the fun of being a first person shooter. There, a lot of the trailers show a lot of people talking 
a whole lot and not not as much action sometimes and that can be a little worrying if it's going to be too much uh, narration, too much direction, even though it is kind of an open world and how you approach the missions. If there's too much direction on which areas you need to go to, that can kind of get in the way of that true open world first person shooter experience. So could be kind of worrying about that. Um, and definitely also the mini game is kind of the whole idea of the radio towers have being a puzzle that you have to solve to get to the top you have to figure out how to get to the top because it's not always just a, a ladder all the way up there um, so hopefully they don't bog down the game I'm hoping that those are spread out enough that they really add to the overall experience and they're not detracting from the main experience one of the things is that for the main plotline uh, it could be that they're going uh, for too much of a screw with your mind kind of story here. A lot of the trailers show like drug use and these ridiculous dream sequences, and you don't really know what's going on. And like, I am you, and you are me. And like, wait, you know what's going on? Like, is there actually going to be a bad guy, or did they just give away the twist there? I don't, I don't know. So that could be kind of worrying if they try and just they just try a little too hard to make this story. Uh, epic and almost supernatural in some ways it seems like. I want to make sure that the core first person shooter element is there throughout the game and that is the true focus and the story is excellent and that drives the thing along but that you are getting plenty of time to do side quests, main quests that really involve you being stealthy or just running and gunning and creating, getting different weapon loadouts and things like that. So yeah, hopefully the main storyline isn't too convoluted and isn't too crazy. So overall, I'm really excited. I'm going to be getting this game pretty early on for the reasons you know I already stated. So stay tuned because I'm going to try and give my opinion on future developments in the game um, and then definitely when it comes out as well.